I've got the best news ever. We continue to remain right with God while we continue to stuff up and fall short. And whether we stuff up and fall short deliberately or by mistake, doesn't matter. We continue to remain right with God while we continue to fall short. And it says so in Romans 3, 23 and 24. Let's look at this fantastic news in the New King James Version. Here we go. Verse 23 presents the universal problem that every single human faces. And there's two problems. For all have sinned. All, without exception. We've got a universal dilemma here. Every single human being, all have sinned and fall short. Wow. We've got two problems. The first one is the past. The second one is the present. For all have sinned and not fallen short, but fall short. Not will fall short, have fallen short, but fall short. Present, continuous, active. So we've all sinned in the past, without exception, and all continue to fall short. Whether you're a believer or not, all means all. That's the human problem. It's twofold. That's the bad news. All have sinned and all continue to blow it and fall short of the glory of God. There's the bad news. The good news is the very next verse. Verse 24, it's in the first two words in the English text of the New King James Version. For all have sinned, past tense, and all continue to fall short of the glory of God, present continuous tense, being justified. Being justified. Two words in English, one word in Greek. It's a participle. What's a participle? A participle is a combination of a adjective and a verb. As an adjective, a participle needs to qualify a noun. The good tree. Good is an adjective. Tree is a noun. Yeah? So we've got to find a noun to put with being justified. Now, what sense would it make if you came to hear me teach and I got up and I said, being justified. Who? See, a participle requires a noun because it functions half as an adjective and half as a verb. So as an adjective, who is being justified? So we've got to look at the antecedent, what went before it. We've got to look for a noun in the sentence or the words just before it. There's only one noun in Romans 3.23. All, all humans, all have sinned and all continue to fall short and all are being justified. Justified. That means to be just with God, to be right with God. The old definition of the word justified is the best one. What does justified mean? Just as if I'd never sinned. I'm just. Who is just as if I'd never sinned? All who have sinned and all who continue to fall short, all being justified. Wow! I am just while I continue to fall short of the glory of God. I am right with God while I continue to fall short and the Greek is unshakable. It's a present participle. As an adjective, being justified needs a noun. Who? All are being justified. Why do all need to be being justified? Because all are falling short. Now, the second part of the participle is that a participle not only acts as an adjective and therefore is qualifying the all, all are being justified, but it also acts as a verb, justified. It describes an action. Here's something technical for you that you can find in any Greek grammar. Participles always describe something about a previous verb. 
the action of the participle goes along hand in glove with the action of the main verb. Yeah? It describes contemporaneous parallel action. Cop this. For all have sinned, that's one verb, and continue to fall short, continue to fall short, that's another verb, all who continue to fall short are being justified. As I continue to fall short, the action of the participle happens at the same time as the action of the main verb. The main verb is, it's right before it, fall short, present continuous. While I continue to fall short, I, present participle, continue to remain just. While I continue to fall short, I continue to remain just. While I continue to fall short, I continue to remain just. I am right with God, even while I continue to fall short of the glory of God. I am right with God while I continue to blow it. That's the best news ever. And I haven't got time now. I'm going to get for another half hour. The rest of verse 24 and verse 25 tells us how God pulled it off. How did God make me just while I continue to fall short? The blood of Jesus covers me all the way through my life. I continue to remain right with God while I continue to fall short. And it's because verse 25 says in the NIV, God presented Jesus as a sacrifice. That's how he did it. More next time. God bless you.